宏基公司在四十年前创立的时候啊，我们的愿景是要让科技能够让人们更方便、更简单，生活的更好。事先拿给我看 microprocessor 的一个 chip， 我跟我讲说这个东西很 powerful。微处理器的应用是没有限制的，它是无穷的。以后什么东西都会用到它，啊，那有无限的光景。我们在当时看到一个微处理器时代的来临，人的想象力想到哪里就可以做到哪里。This is the house I grew up in. We farm 2,500 acres of cash crops. I've been thinking about how to automate a tractor for a long time because we do have limited help on the farm. At harvest time in particular, there's more jobs than we know what to do with. I was looking online for one and I stumbled across the autopilot that goes in these planes. And that's when the light bulb went off for me. And I thought, hey, that thing solves a lot of my problems. Maybe with a little bit of learning, I could go the rest of the way. So just kind of on a lark, I bought the thing in a little remote control car to go with it. And I stumbled across some um, open source education from MIT, learning a programming language. And that's where the project really got going. At church one Sunday, one of my friends asked me if I'd given up on that stupid idea yet. He was just ribbing me a bit. It, it was all in good fun, but uh, when I came home, I was told my wife, I was like, I'll show him. So I, I pulled it out of the closet and got to work, and, and then all of a sudden, all that prior learning I'd done throughout the winter really came in handy, and I just kind of solved one problem after another. And it's all because of open source and collaboration amongst some really bright people. In seven months, I went from knowing basically nothing about computer science and electronics to getting a tractor to drive on its own. The first day of harvest when the tractor was working, it was really gratifying. I have to say that every time I came to the field and saw that tractor unloading the combine without a driver in it, just put a big grin on my face. In 1976, 中文的输入没有什么好的方法有一种方法是大键盘就跟中文打字机一样大家都想尽各种各式的办法一直是没有办法突破刚好有一位朱邦虎先生找了一群人去研究说中文字的编码规则但找了几家电子公司没有人听得
，在易峰者之后呢，事实上我们陆续的拿到几个欧洲的汽车大厂的超级电脑的案子，包含了法拉利，挑战一些以前的人认为做不到的事情，然后我们能够一步一步的把它克服，所以这个才是我们真正想要的。I was about 24 years old when I joined Acer India in Bangalore. I always wanted to be an engineer and electronics was my passion. I was moved to Acer Americas to set up their server and storage business. In the year 2009, uh, I went back to India for a vacation and I went to my village. One morning I was just like walking across and there was a school nearby and I saw kids working uh, with a computer. To my excitement, it was uh, Acer laptops. And they were excited in that now they could connect to the entire world and they could search whatever they want. They can learn much better. I revealed that I'm from the company which makes those laptops. Their eyes lit up, uh, they were super happy. Those are the moments which makes you so proud. I will keep doing day in, day out this job just for those moments. I joined Fongji in 1982. At that time, the first machine was just a machine. The first time we started to see the concept of personal computers. At that time, the world told us that its eyes are the machine that will be like a machine. 蒸汽机一样，呃，带来这个下一波的工业革命。他说，公司要做研究发展，要走向国际市场，在世界扬眉吐气。当你内心被激发起那个热情跟一种渴望的时候呢，你一点都不以为苦。我在很年轻的时候，公司因为要国际化，给我这个舞台，学到很多宝贵的经验。我第一次去欧洲参展是那时候同济的老同事罗台生带我去的，很多要参展的机器，参展人把它带去，呃，就四五个箱子。那一年的春节，我刚去工作大概几个月，我就发现很多同事日以继夜做出来的产品呢，放在实验室，我们叫做奔印哈，烧机。到了初二，心里会很牵挂自己的产品，忍不住就从家里骑上摩托车，回到这个民生东路鸿基的办公室。在德国下飞机以后，坐电车，我在底下送这个箱子，没想到纸箱还没搬完，电车的门就关上了。我就眼睁睁的在马路上，望着罗莱森在啊电车隔这个玻璃看着我，我们两个都一脸错愕。一进办公室，发现办公室里面这个人声鼎沸哈。我看住在大台北地区的同事都纷纷跑回来关心。那时候有一点惊吓，不过事在人为啊，呃，事情到时候还是圆满的把它做成。一开始很难想象科技工作可以这样，那我想那一种学习旺盛的企图心跟精神层面的满足，反而是最宝贵的资产。人生最值得骄傲的。是美好的仗你打过，你也受伤过，从这个过程中你学到很多宝贵的经验。Dann kann man hier versuchen, Liberator zu positionieren. Auch das versucht er mit Shift Command. Tech TV is an online TV channel. We broadcast games worldwide. I actually started doing this project when I was still living in my private apartment and I was casting games with a webcam and a computer on my couch. A lot of people actually liked it. It was at the IFA, and I think 2000. 12, there was a guy coming to me who also worked for Acer. He actually was watching my streams. And they said, hey, I think we might have a cool opportunity for both of us. Back then, I was even smaller. I never expected them to ask me. 
and it worked out very well. And then our partnership started to work out better and better. And yeah, now we are here. It's still the same, just bigger. Now people can actually visit me and enjoy what I love to do. Uh, watch games, play games and have a good time. With starting Take TV, I had a new chance to offer jobs to people who played games before. But I think if you offer a company where you can have a lot of fun, make your hobby to your job, you might go everywhere. No, no. <laughs> Dongzu 跟别的公司是不太一样的是最重要的关键一个事业一个产业要成功后来觉得越来越喜欢我只接了一个木板我们是一个非常有活力的一个出场团队 Arduino is an open source, uh, open hardware platform. The way that the tools, uh, hardware and software, allow people to play with electronics and to enjoy electronics. 因为出场团队呢, 如果是能够证明它是一个好的产品，它必须推向市场。The way that Acer will help to build new layers, new tools for maker community, is start with the cloud professor with the little dangle that has a connectivity built in. Acer 有很好的制造能力，有它的全球的销售渠道。Acer从一个单一PC的公司转向一个云端科技在内的服务公司，它实际上是需要一些很好的想法和产品来携带这样的理念。当我们和Acer合作的时候，正好能够补充对方需要的部分。The value behind the cloud professor is not really the dangle, but is the technology that you can use to interconnect the, the IoT to the cloud. It's all about really to build 
better structure, better project, better context for our life. But I think that with the ability of the AI technology, it can give us a very strong understanding of the future of the world. Hello, Eagle. It was the first time we did our global press conference in Berlin at 2014, IFA. I got our people together right before the event. And I ask them, why are we here? People gave me the answer like, oh, we are here to launch the product. We are here to make sure that we have a good visibility. Then I got back to the fundamentals. I wanted to make sure that people were here to do something they believe in from the bottom of their hearts. I told people at Acer, we want to shake the world. We are here to shake the world. Stan built the microprofessor as a platform to teach uh, electronics. He was really trying to build something to share the passion and the love with other generation. We Technology provides an opportunity for people to think outside the box, to disrupt what people do every day. 每一个技术的突破在历史上它的那一点是有它相当的意义它就累积了这样一个阶段的能量跟奠基奠交师很多我们所做的事情出来的产品我们的精神能够给大家希望对人类就最具体的贡献就是这样 Our mission as a company is to break the barrier between people and technology. That's what I think the company should be doing.